Welcome back. The second annual Soul Food Festival is this Saturday, and this morning we're giving you a preview. Anthony's in the kitchen now with a look at what you can expect to find there. What's going on? I'll tell you guys, nothing like a little soul food to get your Monday morning going. We've got our friend Chef Kasim and this Rashim in this morning, yeah. and he is one of uh, several vendors that you guys are going to see this coming Saturday at the Soul Food Fest. What are you making for us this morning? Because you've got a lot going on out here. Absolutely. This morning we have here our Tuscan chicken that's about ready. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. We have our griddle nice and hot here. Mm -hmm. We have our garlic parmesan sauce here that okay, we're getting wonderful. ready for. Talk to us about the chicken. How'd you get that prepped and what, what, what all do we have on that? All right. We have a little bit of garlic. Uh -huh. We have just a little bit of garlic and a little bit of olive oil. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to flip that over right now. Okay. A little bit of Italian seasoning. And the Tuscan chicken, kind of give folks at home an idea of what type of dish this is and what we're going to be putting together. Tuscan chicken is an Italian dish. It's a garlic parmesan sauce over mm -hmm. a bed of rice, or most people use, they could also use pasta as well. Okay, very nice, very nice. So you said you had garlic in the, on the chicken, and what else yes, did you sir. season that with? With the little peaches cater and special spices. Ah, very nice. All right, yes, good sir. deal. So we'll let that, you're going to saute that. Typically, how long do you cook yes, that sir. for? We cook this about 15 minutes. We got to keep it as thin pieces so they cook roughly quickly. All right, very nice. Okay, and so the pot is for what? What are we making here? This here is our garlic parmesan sauce. Okay, very We're gonna nice. We're going to add our spinach in here. Here, as okay. well as our sun-dried tomatoes. Perfect. All right, so what do we add next? What do we add first to it? All right. The first thing we're going to add here is about, this is about a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese. Okay. I'll tell we you, get it that smells going there. delicious. Oh, my. Absolutely. We got that going, and then we're going to add just about a teaspoon or two. Okay. A few drops of these um, sun-dried tomatoes. Ah, okay. You know, we're going to give them a, a rough chop here oil in it. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Yes, sir. So we'll slide that over so we can see that there for you. And so these are dried tomatoes. Talk to us about the flavor as this plate does this have as you're cutting into it? What do you love about this it? This is a real savory flavor. It, it's very rich. Okay. It's a rich flavor. One of those comfort meals. Oh, okay. You know, um, you have a little bit of salt. You know, you have the Cream from the half and half. Okay. And then the sun dried tomatoes is a bit salty, but it's a little pickled a little bit in a little vinaigrette and gotcha. oils here. That smells good. So, a lot of different dishes going on at the Soul Food Festival, obviously, kind of a wide variety of different foods. Yes. What inspired you to make this particular dish? This particular dish is something that was different from what the fans wanted. Ah, okay. And our favorites, we have favorites coming up, our fan favorites coming up later, a little later. All right, they've got yeah. a couple of good ideas for you. Rasheem is here, of course, from Peachy's Catering, and he's one of the vendors that'll be there this Saturday at the Soul Food Fest. Stay with us, of course, later on, coming up this half hour, we will uh, show you a few more dishes that he's going to be featuring there uh, this weekend. And, of course, uh, we have chefs going all the way through 7 o'clock. Guys, I hope you brought your appetites. <laughs> yeah. By the way, where is Soul Food Fest? Soul Food Fest is going to be uh, this Saturday, and it's yes. actually it's not too far from here. The name of the complex right over near the airport. Is, Vision View. It's the Vision View complex there, of course, all uh, Saturday, and uh, it's going to be a good one. Absolutely. I'm looking, looking forward to it. <laughs> all in right. Fresno. Yes. 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 In, in Fresno. Yes. Fresno. Just near the airport, not too far from the Fresno airport here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. It yep. smells so good. Mm -hmm. Hey, we've got Chef uh, Rasheem in studio with us from Peachy's Catering. The kitchen has never smelled so good out here. How's it going this morning? It's going great, sir. All right, so you guys are whipping up a lot. You can see you got a lot of ingredients, of course, around the uh, the cooktop on us this morning. What was that first dish that you were making for? Because you've got it plated up and ready to go, it looks like yes, here. Yes, sir. This first dish here, we have our Tuscan chicken okay. with our garlic parmesan sauce. Oh, very and nice. And a bit of sun-dried tomatoes Okay. In. And you've got something in the pot here. This is going to be going on to it. What exactly was this? Because you started making this earlier in the hour. Yes, sir. Remind this folks at home what exactly went into this one. What goes into here is our garlic. It has our Parmesan cheese, about a cup and a half. We also have our spinach okay. as well as our sun-dried tomatoes. Very, very nice. Great flavors out there. And Absolutely. what kind of taste are we going for? So some people bite right into that. What should they be expecting? For, they should be expecting savory, okay. really savory and comfort. All right. I love it. Yeah. So we're going to add this to the plate and so this just, just dribbles over the top? Or? Yes, sir. Just right on top here. Oh, yeah. So many different options out there. Soul Food Fest, of course, is going to go on this Saturday over at Vision View, which is not too far from the airport here. So that's one of the dishes, of course, that you're whipping up for us. You've yes, already sir. got something else sizzling on the grill. Nothing like Absolutely. a more
little sizzle on the grill. What exactly do we have going here? This here is a variety of kebabs. Right now okay. we have our our regular chicken kebabs and we have different sauces here. Okay. So this sauce here right here is our peach pineapple glaze. All right. This is a peach pineapple glaze, and we also have the choice for teriyaki glaze. And are these sauces that you've kind of come up with and worked on over time? Yes, sir. Or? I've worked over these for quite a few. Uh, okay. It took a lot of time. Because when you think yeah. of kebabs, you don't always think of soul food, but you've got your own little flavors and spreads yes, that they go on top of. Talk about when you put the peachy sauce on there, exactly what kind of flavor it gives it, and what do you bite into there? Absolutely. So when you're going to bite into this sauce here, you're going to have a sweet uh, salty, a little sweet, salty, and a little spice. All right, you know? I like it. I like yes, it. Sir. And then on the kebabs, talk to us about what you have on there right now. We have a little bit of green, red, yellow bell pepper, okay. as well as our chicken breast here. And then what do we have to do to prep the chicken breast for this? Prep the chicken breast. We marinate it for two days. Oh, wow. We marinate our chicken for two days okay. in a bit of olive oil and our peaches cater in house seasoning. And then our rough cook time to be on the griddle is roughly what? And what are you looking for to know that it's ready to go? To ready know to it's serve? ready to go, you want to make sure there's no more pink, okay. you know, around the edges. You want to make sure it's juicy. It's not going to take about... About 20 minutes on low heat. Not too bad. Yeah. All right. Well, of course, Chef Rasheem, we thank you for coming in this morning. Of course, we're having a great time. Peachy's Catering, where do we find you at uh, online? On you can find media? me on Facebook, Peachy's Catering, Wings and Things. Okay, wonderful. And guys, if we have that graphic, let's throw it up. He's going to be one of several vendors featured out there this weekend at the Soul Food Festival. Over at Vizview, this is going to kick off, of course, uh, this Saturday from 3 to 9 p.m. And uh, we are definitely looking forward to it. A lot of different food ideas out there. Uh, coming up, of course, next hour, we've got a couple of more chefs standing by with some great ideas. Kind of expanding the box of what we think about when we think of where soul food is uh, landing at these days. And so you guys definitely want to stay tuned. Joey and Alex, I'll tell you, the aroma from this dishes mm -hmm. are just amazing. We continue, of course, this morning with our great chefs coming in from around the valley, getting ready for a little soul food, the Soul Food Festival. We've got Adrian in this half hour yeah. with us. How are you doing this morning? I'm awesome. I'm doing great. I tell you, I am getting excited. I'm looking at the components on what she's making over here, and just this stuff looks amazing. What are you cooking up for us this morning? I'm cooking up for you this morning um, some southern-style gumbo. Oh, now we're uh, talking. We have mm. our ingredients here. I do only use all beef hot link for okay. my gumbo. Perfect. So, so for those who don't eat pork, they don't have to worry about that. Oh, good. That's good to know. Beef. Well, let's get to it. So what's the first item that we put in? So you've got your pot brewing here. What exactly do you have that's your base there? That's my base. That's my roux. I had boiled um, some chicken. Okay. And so um, I did the thigh and the leg and I uh, got the juice from that. And what are we adding to that first? What goes in first or what's kind of the first step in getting this Okay. Prep? So the first step to um, that will be... Um, what I call is my roux is okay. um, here, right here. So we'll just go ahead oh, and dump the roux in here oh, and get that right. heated up uh -huh. there. Okay. And that consists of uh, chicken thigh, uh, chicken leg, and also corn, tomatoes, mm. um, uh, onions and bell peppers okay and so once we add that ingredient there okay. then we go ahead and we come i put a whole um half a corn in my okay. uh, gumbo because and what's the thought behind that the thought behind this is because my kids was eating it so fast i had to slow them down okay so i said well right, you know i'm just gonna go ahead and put a ear of corn in there right, and then right. that'll come to a boil right there and well Go ahead. And go ahead. No, no. And, and while that's boiling, um, I'm going to go ahead. I had uh, pre cut up some chicken breast. Okay, perfect. So I'll saute the chicken breast. So that'll go on the grill. That'll okay. go on the grill. All right, we'll also, what will go on the grill with that would be the uh, hot links. Uh -huh. And then um, I also will be adding to that. Uh, I have shrimp here that Perfect. I have pre-cleaned. So do we need to dice up? So are you dicing up the hot links on this Yes, I ago? am. Uh -huh. We'll let you go ahead and do that. While you're dicing those up, kind of give us a little bit of background about, of course, gumbo. Is this a recipe that got passed down through your family? Or how'd you come across this recipe for gumbo? Absolutely. Um, as a kid, for Christmas, we would it would be a treat. We would have gumbo. Okay. And so uh, my mom and my aunts um, would get together, and they would make a big... Uh, thing of gumbo and we okay. would sit down and eat gumbo and have hot water cornbread Very nice. and we'll have a dessert with it so that okay. will be our traditional Christmas meal. Perfect. So we're going to let you do that a little bit. So you're chopping up sausage yes. there and you're going to have to saute some chicken. So we'll let you do that here in just a little bit. There's one other pot that you have here. What is going on in pot number two? It's already kind of coming up to a boil. What yes. Pot here? number two is for the hot water cornbread okay. and it's just lightly seasoned with salt. And for folks at home that aren't familiar with what hot water cornbread is, kind of describe the texture. Once it's done, what does it look like? What does it taste 
outside? It's crispy on the outside and it's moist in the middle. Okay. Um, it's a recipe that my grandmother had taught me um, when I was a little girl. I would Very love nice. hers. She would use a white meal instead of the yellow meal, but okay. as I grew up, I, I enjoyed the yellow meal better than the white meal. All right, well, so, Chef, Chef Adrian's keeping it going for us this morning. Some great uh, down home recipes passed on generation to generation. The Soul Food Fest going on this Saturday at Vision. Uh, it's going to be going on Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon uh, from about 3 o'clock into the evening time, and you'll be one of many vendors there. We're going to be back here next half hour with a few more soul food ideas, and we're going to give you what it looks like when it's all whipped together. Guys, we'll toss it back to you in the studio. I think it's going to make you want to slap God, Things are looking amazing out here. I'll tell you, uh, we have had a host of different types of foods, and you can't have a soul food fest without a little dessert. So we got Chef Anita in. Marlene is her assistant, and she's whipping up a nice little dessert here. What exactly is she making for us this morning? Marlene is making a lemon meringue parfait. All right. Very nice. Okay, so what, what goes into this? Okay, first we're starting off with a cake. Then she's putting our lemon filling in. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Just because people like a little extra, yeah. we layer it, oh, and nice. then she's going to top it off with a buttercream that's a lemon meringue flavor. Okay, perfect. So that looks really good. So that's going to be one of several desserts have, you have going. You were rolling out some crust here, so we're going to come back yes. to the oven, give people a sneak peek inside. What are we looking at in here? Because it smells good. Okay, what we have here, these are Creole sweet pie dough. Sweet potato. Okay. Your sweet potato pie. Oh, very nice. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let you close that up here. Let's talk a little bit about dessert, and we're going to give folks a check of the weather here in just a second. But you make a lot of different types of cakes. And what exactly are these that we're looking at out here? In front of okay, um, these cakes that we have here, we have tiered cake. Mm -hmm. We have, um, this is just a basket weave. Okay. Okay. Oh, very nice. Um, and you even got an animal a, print there. Yeah, novelty there. cake. Very nice. Okay, and then this one. For the Soul Food Fest. Okay, perfect. So, guys, we're going to give you a quick check of the weather here and show you a few more dishes. Uh, weather wise, things are looking pretty good. 70s for us on today. We're going to jump into the 80s and then up to the 90s by the weekend. So, get ready for some hot weather out there. Speaking of hot weather, how about some hot water cornbread? Absolutely. Give you a quick recap here. What are we looking at on this plate here ahead of us, there, Adrian? Absolutely. You're looking at Mac Gumbo. And we have the oh ear corn, my. we have the crab, and we have the fried chicken on top. Also, you have chicken breast and sausage, mm -hmm. beef sausage on the inside with the shrimp. And, and, and just in case folks were not here during the 5 o'clock hour there, we've got a few other dishes on the side here. Chef Kashim was here. Uh, what are we looking at here? You whipped up a lot going on this morning. Absolutely. We have here, they're starting with our first plate, our kebabs. We have a Maui kebab. Mm -hmm. It has our chicken breast, and we also have a teriyaki glaze that goes on the other kebab. And the chicken plate you were making, what was that called? Again? The Tuscan Chicken. All right, you got to love it, guys. A lot going on out there. The Soul Food Festival this weekend. Of course, at the Vision View. Uh, Joey and Alex, we will toss it back to you, and uh, hopefully you all brought your appetites this morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We'll see you in the kitchen in about 15 seconds, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on this Monday. Hope to see you back here for Eyewitness News at